<coughs> right, okay, so what we're going to look at is how to turn a cube or cuboid into a cylinder. If you've never done it before, it's always easier to start off with a cuboid because then your circles aren't starting to overlap and starting to look a bit crushed. So first thing you need to do is you need to draw yourself a hollow cuboid. So that means seeing the lines at the back, which you wouldn't normally see. Okay, and I'm going to start on this one here. So I'm going to work on this face and I'm going to basically turn that into a star. So I'm going to connect corner to corner. Okay, and then for my centre point, I'm going to draw a straight line up. And then from this centre point, I'm going to go across at the 30 degree angle line for my centre there. I'm going to do the exact same on my square at the back. Corner to corner. Okay, centre going vertically down. And then centre going at a 30 degree angle line right so all these lines at the moment are construction lines so they should be drawn as light as possible because you will need to rub them out i've obviously drawn it a little bit darker so that you can see on the video okay so the next thing i'm going to do working on this front face that cross there what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little curve at the end of each line that is basically to show where my circle is going to hit hit the points, okay? So where it's going to hit the edges. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the back. Okay, so then now I can start drawing my circle in. Remember that it's because it's at a 30 degree angle, it isn't going to look like a perfect circle. So I'm going to start joining round to join in to my curves. Remember, again, not a perfect circle and you're trying to go as close to the corners as you possibly can. So that's my first one and then I'm going to draw the back one. See how it looks like more of a kind of squished oval circle. Okay, so they are my circles. I'm then going to get my ruler and I'm going to go from my highest point here, going across, I'm going to join it up. And then for my widest point, so not my lowest point because you wouldn't actually see it underneath there, you're going to go from your widest point here and your widest point there and join it up. These lines should be still staying at 30 degree angle. So now that is basically my cylinder. I just need to now fine line the lines up and then rub out the lines that I don't need. So I'm gonna fine line my straight line at the back, right to the edge. I'm gonna fine line the line at the front, right up. I'm gonna Draw this line in. Gonna draw this line in to join up. And then I'm gonna draw my front part of my circle in. Okay, and then that is my cylinder. What you can do after that is then rub out all your construction lines. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same again on this one. Obviously, this is a tall cylinder so it's the same steps create your star star on the top right there just not quite on that point there star on the top and the bottom so from my centre I'm gonna go 30 degree angle that way centre 30 degree angle that way Again, this one, 30 degree angle, and again, 30 
degree angle. Okay, next step on my cross, hit the center of the other lines, put my little curve. Right, start joining them up as close to the corners as you can get. Same with the bottom. Okay, then join up my widest points. Okay, now fire line it in, and there's my cylinder. That's it, and then I can rub out my pencil lines, and that is how you draw a cylinder. It is the same method whether you do uh, isometric or if you choose to do two point perspective, you will still split off the ends into a star to find out where your curved points would be.